Hello everyone, it's John with SST again. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, so today we're going to continue our series in converting printing presses from UV or water-based over to the SST LED system. You may have already seen the first video regarding screen printing presses and then on flexo presses. So today we're going to talk about uh, converting a typical UV web offset press like the one you see pictured here. From today's video, you should get three main takeaways. First is the how and the why the transition was done in the first place. Uh, second is to measure and compare the main attributes between the UV system and then at the SST LED system. And then finally look at and compare the financial impacts and the ROI between the two systems. So a bit of a background and timeline. Uh, this is a 20 plus year old Diddy uh, UV web offset press in a 24 hour day, five day a week operation. Uh, the system had a lot of <clears throat> downtime and generated a lot of heat uh, and also a very hot working environment. Uh, they compared uh, quite a few different LED systems and chose to go with the SST system out of Lawrence, Kansas due to the least amount of energy required and least maintenance as well as good curing power and the best ROI. Uh, from a, a timeline standpoint, in late April, a pre-site and planning was done. Uh, late May, a uh, PO was placed, and uh, about five weeks after that, the installation, testing, and training was done. It was up in production in just over five hours. And then in August, they started removing uh, all the ducting uh, uh, and e exhaust system, as those were no longer needed. As far as installation and training, you can see a picture of the main power box and two small water circulation devices and the four what we call power towers to the right, uh, one of the housings and brackets, as well as the touch screen that's used to uh, drive the system. It was done in just over five hours, as I mentioned before. Also wanted to mention that many times can be mounted redundant to your existing UV system in order to eliminate any risk during the transition. And uh, finally, the training takes only about 30 minutes to get, uh, to get the operators up and running. Before and after pictures, here's a picture of the UV system before, including the exhausting tubes going out through the roof and the uh, UV housing in the bottom center. And you might notice at the bottom right, in some cases there's two UV heads in order to get sufficient cure uh, of the inks. So here's a picture of after the retrofit was done with a little more pleasing blue light from the LED system. You may also notice that the, uh, the orange ducting work has been uh, removed. Now the exhaust system is no longer needed. And also you may note uh, that all six stations now only have a single LED curing head. Uh, double heads are no longer needed in order to get sufficient ink cure. So the before and after on the power supply and exhaust first to the bottom left of three very large uh, UV power supply cabinets, about 75 square feet in total, 480 volt uh, driving that system. And again, you can see the exhausting tubes there that went up uh, through the roof. So here's the picture of the SST LED uh, system with the power supplies and two water circulation devices. A very small footprint obviously at only about 18 square feet. And also wanted to mention the water circulation devices only use uh, distilled water uh, with ambient room temperature as chilling is not required as it is with all other LED systems. A quick picture here of the touch panel on the left as you see there are six bars there that will control the power to each station. You can adjust that from zero to 100%. And also the uh, housing with the mounting brackets uh, over on the right hand side. Here's a quick video of the press and operation after the retrofit. First you can see the uh, touch screen here with the six bars that are driving each of the uh, LED uh, systems. Here's the first station. You can see the power supply uh, and the main control box uh, right behind that station of the press. Here's the second station, and you can see in the background there one of the water circulation devices, and then the uh, single head uh, of SST LED curing on each station of the press. So let's talk about some of those measurables now. We're going to start with taking the temperature readings as shown on this slide of the UV system, and the following slide will be uh, same temperatures uh, from the SST LED system. So the first reading to the bottom left is 87 degrees. That's the temperature of the substrate just prior to entering the, the UV curing unit. And then the second picture is immediately 
uh, coming out of uh, one of the UV curing stations at 178 degrees. So obviously a lot of heat is generated and increases the temperature of, this, of the substrate, which can also affect print quality. And then the third reading is 170 degrees. That's the temperature of the UV housing itself, which can create a, a burn hazard for press operators. So the inefficient uh, energy transformation with UV obviously generates a lot of heat, which can also drive your air conditioning system uh, much harder, be a less comfortable working environment for your press operators. And, uh, and obviously uh, is the cause for much higher electricity and carbon emissions than you'll get with the LED system. So we'll compare those temperature readings to after the SST LED system was installed. You can see the temperature to the left just prior to curing is about the same at 90 degrees. Uh, but just after the curing the center picture, it only goes up to 97 degrees. So only 7 degrees gain in temperature on the substrate and the uh, temperature of the uh, housing itself is only 118 degrees. So we get uh, much uh, uh, reduced air conditioning demand, much more comfortable working environment for the operators, getting rid of that burn hazard, and a 90 plus percent reduction in uh, electrical demand and carbon emissions. From a maintenance service and support standpoint, the patented uh, modular single lens design of the SST system requires very little uh, maintenance. For preventive maintenance, literally, you clean the lenses periodically with isopropyl alcohol, uh, fill the water circulation a device with distilled water when the indicator light comes on, maybe every couple of months, and, uh, and periodically clean the air filter. Uh, it essentially eliminates uh, downtime uh, for press, and any kind of service typically can be done on site rather than having it be sent back to the manufacturer as there's no need for a clean room environment to work on this LED system. So let's talk about those key uh, measurements that we mentioned uh, early on. We've got the UV arc system to the left and the SST LED system to the right here uh, documenting the much smaller amount of voltage and amps with the SST LED system being able to remove the exhaust system altogether. Much smaller square footage and much lower temperatures. Uh, and reducing the noise created by the exhaust system. I think a really key point here is the maintenance hours went from 96 hours per year to five. Uh, they were having to change lamps about every two months times six stations, 36 lamps per year at about $8,400 for the cost of those uh, replacing the UV bulbs. And all this is given uh, the parameters of, of the working environment in this particular, uh, in this particular shop. So to summarize the bottom three lines, kilowatt hours per year went from 267,000 down to only 41,000. Uh, tons of carbon emissions from 123 down to 19. So the variable cost of electricity per year, $45,000 all the way down to $7,000 per year, in addition to all the other benefits that we've already discussed. So the financial summary is uh, put together here. Uh, looking at all three attributes between ink curing, air conditioning load, and the cost of bulbs. Uh, the savings per year in kilowatt hours demand when you summarize all the attributes of 251,000 kilowatt hours per year are saved. About $51,000 per year in terms of uh, energy savings and the cost of the bulbs. And saving about 125 tons of carbon emissions per year compared to UV. In addition to those financial benefits, a couple of points about some environmental and EHS uh, benefits as well. Of course, the big reduction in carbon emissions is the main thing, but also eliminating mercury and the need to uh, dispose of those and, and landfill them, uh, getting rid of the VOCs generated from the UV systems and that ozone generator. And from an employee health and safety standpoint, uh, reduce noise environment by getting rid of the exhaust systems, a more comfortable working environment with less heat being generated by the press, and of course getting rid of that uh, burn risk uh, from the temperature of the housings. So hopefully we're able to realize the three uh, takeaways that we talked about in the opening. If you ever need any additional information, feel free to reach out to me. My email is shown here, or also feel free to visit the website shown here, uh, or by going to the QR code. Thank you and see you again soon.